Hi everyone! Today, I wanted to cover a strategy commonly used in linked list interview problems called the dummy head approach. We'll first cover what it is and then when it is useful. Let's start by defining what the dummy head approach is. The dummy head approach is when you create a dummy head in the front of your linked list. The dummy head itself, also called the sentinel node, contains a bogus value, such as negative 1, dummy, or none. Now that we know what a dummy head is, when is it useful? Well, let's say we have a linked list with nodes 1, 2, 3, and 4, and we want to delete the node with a 3. The previous node to 3 is 2, so we change 2's pointer to skip over 3 and point to 4. And when we're done, we just return the head of our linked list, 1. However, what if we're deleting the head itself? Well, we can delete the head node, but then we can't return the original head again since it was deleted. So instead, we return the node that came after the deleted head. If we had a dummy node in the front of our linked list, and we were deleting a node in the middle of our list, such as 2, after our deletion, we could just return dummy.next. But the key thing is, even if we were deleting the head of our linked list, we could still return dummy.next. So the benefit of using a dummy head approach is if we create a dummy head that comes right before the head of our linked list, after any sort of deletion operation, we can always return dummy.next as the new head of our linked list. This saves us from writing a special if condition to deal with the head, which is often an edge case with linked list problems. So why does this work? Well, the previous node is what we use to perform many operations, such as deleting a node, for example. And the head of our linked list doesn't have a previous node, so the dummy node works by acting as a previous variable for the head, allowing us to treat it as any other node. So when should we use the dummy head approach? Well, we usually use the dummy head approach when we're taking an iterative approach to a linked list problem. Why only in iterative approaches? Well, in recursion, the base cases already take care of the special conditional logic for the head, and we need to have base cases in a recursive approach anyway. So the dummy head wouldn't simplify our code in any way. Whenever we use the dummy head approach, we can automatically start our plan with this step. Create a dummy head. We return the dummy head's next node as our solution. All right, that's it for today's video on the dummy head approach. Hopefully this video was helpful for you, and thanks for listening.